what's happening with the refugee, what's going on at the moment? Well, I mean, there's, I mean, as you can see, the camp is very active. There's a lot of activities and we're very thankful for what you have arranged here today with the handball team. Uh, we would want to have more and more of such activities to keep the refugees uh, busy, but also involved in positive, uh, positive activities in the camp. Uh, we are facing a few challenges in country. Um, there's major funding problems. Uh, with the food assistance that the World Food Programme uh, provides, uh, which means less and less refugees are uh, receiving the food assistance. And it seems in terms of funding in the next few months, we will uh, collectively face uh, major challenges. Uh, what that means is that when refugees don't receive the minimum of assistance when it comes to food, uh, they're adopting a few negative coping mechanisms, like uh, pulling out their children from school to send them to beg or to work, daily labor. Early child marriages are increasing. More and more refugees are returning to Syria, not because it's safe, but because we, uh, they can no longer make ends meet. So unless the international community uh, stepped up, steps up to the plate and uh, continues assisting refugees, uh, we are seeing that, that safety net is eroding over time. And uh, you know that really affects the dignity but also the life of refugees on a day-to-day -day basis because they, when they make that choice of returning to Syria, we don't see it as a choice. Uh, it's more that they are uh, too squeezed now and may be unable to make ends meet and therefore they're making that decision. Wow, it sounds dramatic and I hope we can help as an organization, as an NGO, we try everything. So our goal is to bring more people to, uh, to Jordan to see what's going on. So we hope it's a win-win situation yes. for the Swiss people who see firsthand what's going on here. Because it's difficult, even for Swiss people, to see what's happening on the news. But they need to see what's really going on. And that's for, for our NGO very important. And, you know, we encourage them to come over, help see the situation, go back, be a messenger for you know, what's going on. And I think that could uh, encourage our government to help more, step in for more. Because I believe, and publicly I say that, there is enough finances around. Finances are not the problem. It's the organization. We need to organize that. We need to, to push people out of their comfort zone to help start doing something. And also, I think one thing that we should bear in mind is that uh, Jordan as a country and most of the asylum countries uh, neighboring uh, now Syria and Iraq are also uh, bearing a huge burden. Yes. So when we think of refugees, we should also think about supporting the national institutions, yes. uh, the educational institutions, the health facilities, yeah. the line ministries. Yeah. Um, create what you called win-win situations. If private businesses are able to come and invest in these asylum countries, provide opportunities for Jordanians uh, and Syrians alike, uh, you, that would, you know, also help with the peaceful coexistence. Uh, the asylum countries are bearing the brunt of the problem. They're the ones hosting uh, in Jordan more than 600,000 registered refugees. Uh, all the neighboring countries are really the ones who are uh, the lead in this. And they need to be supported because they don't have the means to continue uh, providing asylum. Uh, we, need to, we need to create that dynamic where the Jordanians feel that this is a win-win situation for Absolutely. them. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, that the Jordanian population needs to be encouraged to continue hosting Syrians uh, because they have a uh, few resources here. So I think one, one when you think about Syrians, uh, you should think about making sure that the humanitarian assistance is provided but also making sure that education, uh, certified trainings, all of the things that can, you know, uh, make the refugees um, invest in their time in this country in a positive way until the conflict ends and they return. That is very important. And at the same time, you cannot do that without supporting the national institutions. Yeah, absolutely. I see that and we are working already on that direction. So we try to create jobs and uh, helping in terms of energy. I think that's one of the main problems here. The costs are too high. 
So I think we can be a help on that too. Okay, thank Wonderful. you very much. Cheers.